Hey everyone, welcome back to another quick how to. In this video, we're going to show you how you can create this realistic book design in PowerPoint. So, first up here, we're going to open our Microsoft PowerPoint. So, first up, right click on the background and go to this format background. And let's have a color background here. So for example, you just have to select any color depending on your preference. So in this case, I'm going to select this one. Next, what we're going to do now is we're going to click on insert and then click smart art. Go to line and we're going to use some of the design right here. So this one and then click on the OK button. Right, so as you can see, we have the first design. Make sure that you have the smart design and then go to add shape. Next, what we're going to do is select on the shape, right click, and then we're going to click on group and then group. Click again the shape, right click, create group, and then group. So there you go. Now as you can see you can customize or edit the shape now so you can adjust the length as you can see you can adjust one by one right here so depending on your design that you want to add to your book design so this was just an example and then once you're okay with this one so you just have to select them all and then right click and then go to group and make it group and then we're going to put it right over here at the right side now let's add a guide so basically go to this uh, view section then check this guides we have the horizontal and vertical line this time I'm going to remove that vertical line so I have now the horizontal line right here now let's drag and drop the image so as you can see I have the sample image here and then what you're going to do to basically add it to the shape so right click this one then click on cut and then select on the shape and then on the format uh, shape right here at the left side select this picture or texture fill Check, click on clipboard as you can see so the picture is added so if the image is not actually fit you just have to go here on picture format option right there at the uh, top and then select on crop and select on fill next what we're going to do here we're going to just click this image go to shadow select the shadow design and we're going to customize it so for example here on blur you can change the blur effect into like 25 then the uh, distance here going to change into like 12 so here as you can see we have added some design next we can go to like shape format and remove the outline there you go so the next step here that we can do now is uh, basically we need now the uh, text box right right over here and then we can just type here the uh, title of the image or some title that you want to showcase on your book for example here and then you can change the font style the font size or the color so basically here can just adjust the uh, size and you can basically uh, change the color for example so it depends on your preference here so maybe um, depending on your branding so in this case I'm going to just select this color there you go now let's add another text so this time I'm going to add a description about the title so just uh, I'm going to like type an example 
just like this about this car which is the Honda City so here you can also change the color the size you can drag the corners to adjust it or make it bigger right so as you can see you can drag to move and customize this one and then once you've done you can now go to the text options you can change the format shape or format style go to shadow for example I want this one so basically you should have to select all the text that you want to make changes like this and then we can adjust the blur right over here and then we can basically change the font color like this and also the text or the description here so select them all and then change the color and make it bold and go to format uh, style or text option and then select the shadow so there you go you can change the blur size right here and as you can see we have just added the uh, title and the text description now the next step that we can do here is uh, by creating a design which we'll going to input here at the middle of this page so we're going to basically click on the insert button at the top left and then click on the uh, shapes and I'm going to select the shape here right and then you can just resize it so drag to the bottom right here and also you can change the uh, size you can type right right here the height or the width that you want to show so for example here I just want to manually adjust this one and also the width for example this one here is 1.5 okay so I'm going to put right here at the middle so thanks to the horizontal line that help us or guiding us the uh, correct position of this shape then we can just align it right here align at the middle and then we're going to select this one here and going to the format shape so later i will show you uh, the design on how you can create this one so um, basically you just have to change some of the uh, a color for this square shape uh, you can go right here to go to gradient feel and then change the gradient gradient drops right here from block right here for example changing it to block then the second one again change into color black again and this one is color white and last one is color black right so later i will show you how you can create the design right here in the middle so this time i'm going to duplicate this into three pages all right so we have three slides here then we can now go to the second slide and basically we want to adjust this font or text and i'm going to move it right here on the right side of the page so basically you can just tap on shift maybe to select them all or you can just move it one by one for example the title and then here the description right and then and the uh, image here just drag right over here at the left side so as you can see you can just drag to make the correct alignment like this and there you go then we can also change the image here for example if we want to change this one you basically just have to drag and drop an image so for example here 
so just drag and drop and then right click on the image and then click on cut and then go to the shape right here select and go to this option maybe for this one select picture go to clipboard and as you can see we have just applied this image to this shape then you can just um make it smaller so drag on the corners all right so as you can see i am using some of the options here for example this one and then here i'm going to change the title so for example i'm going to change into like surfing so type right here and then once done you can now go to the third image or third slide so this time here we're going to add an image so for example i'd like to add this one or maybe this one here okay so again just drag and drop right click then click cut go to this image and clipboard so there you go so this is just an example so it depends on your preference if you want to add some of the graphic designs on your book so just i want to show you some of the transitions that you can use to make a realistic book design so here for example you can resize it all right if you're okay with this one and then we can now okay basically go to the next step so the next step here we're going to adjust the uh, image right here on the square so basically we're going to go to transparency and then i'm going to just change the transparency of the second one on the white color right here and the third color black so basically as you can see here it it's not actually automatically edit all of the pages so we're going to select all the slides here and then go to transition and then go to this arrow and select this page curl so as you can see if you're going to click on next then it will uh, basically change into the next page so if we're going to preview, so this is the uh, full screen as you can see here, this uh, page transition. Now we're going to edit this one. So same process, transparency is 100. The second one here is like 78. The white color again is like a 67. And the last one here is or will be like 60 right same with this one again transparency 100% second one here is 78 the white color will be like 67 and then change the uh, transparency for the last one and it will be right 60 there you go so if you're going to play again you can basically create a uh, book cover here but i will just you know preview my changes here so as you can see here you can now play but on the uh, middle part i have the outline design here i'm going to remove the outline or shape outline so also here on the second page select on the square shape then go right here and shape outline remove that outline here to make it more realistic right again let's play again right here so there you go so that's how you basically create this realistic book design so thank you for watching please like and subscribe and see you on the next video